اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to explore some more tools using answerthis.io. The focus of this session is on searching papers and extracting a data. Now, if you open answerthis.io, you can go on and click here, explore tools and then search for papers. Now, in one of the earlier examples, we did look into this sample framework and how to use this to search using answerthis.io. Now, for instance, if I'm interested in writing about ethical leadership and corporate social responsibility, and I'm looking for research papers, how can I use answerthis.io? Ethical leadership is my independent variable and corporate social responsibility is my independent variable in this particular scenario. Now, and we can have different search filters. You can have minimum number of citations. In this case, no minimum number is required. Research papers and you can use different databases as well. I'm not going to do web search, but you can always search the web as well. And journal quality, I'm going to include all four quartiles. You can have publication date as well. Now, this is very important if you are writing a, your systematic literature review and that is time bound for example for the last five years or ten years and let's submit our search now searching for papers now here are our results now these are the papers that we have found now Click next and you'll have the other page as well. Now, the interesting thing is that there is not much research on this topic. Now, if you click here, PDF, select or deselect all papers with PDF. So here are those papers whose PDF is available in answerthis.io. Now, what you can do is you can further extract data as well. And this is very interesting. Let's say if I am Looking for future work as well and add column. Now it's working, loading. And here is your future work. Now click on show details and you have your future work. Now let's say if we need some more research gaps, add column. And it is extracting data. Now these are the research gaps identified. Now similarly you can do it for and you have it rather for these other papers as well. Now let's say there's one interesting thing here as well. If you go to table view now this is to me this is more readable and because you've got the paper here the future work the research gaps and the columns as well. Now you can add or remove the columns as well. Now another thing you can go on and change the style of citation let's say we use APA you can change it to list view back as well and it's being saved to the default project and you can export it as well export to CSV or BIP text let's say we export it to CSV and you have to select at least one paper so I'm going to select all of them Click export. Open the file. And here are the results. Now again, and this is or this can be very useful when you are writing your literature review or you are writing your discussion and the research gaps and future work can be very important in writing your introduction. Now this is how you can search papers and how to export these into csv or bib text or change the style now this can be a very important tool when you are writing your introduction your literature your methodology or any other section in your research paper now moving on we can do let's say if you go to new query and the next part 
to discuss is extract data. Now this tool here can give you summaries from multiple PDFs. So extract data. Now you can select papers from your library if you have added a few papers in your library or you can upload PDFs. So let's say if I upload a few PDFs that I have in my system that I've been reading going through for my research. So I'm going to upload a few papers of my own. Let's say these are the papers. Most of them are in relation to knowledge management. So let's say if I select a few here. So let's say these are related to corporate social responsibility, knowledge management, leadership. And these are the key constructs in the model that I proposed earlier in one of the videos as well. So I've selected a few papers and click open. Now it's uploading papers. Now papers uploaded successfully to your default project. Now you can add some more columns as well. Let's say research gaps, add column. And you can go here, extract data. Let's say I'm interested in the recommendations, add column. Now this is your library with all these papers. And obviously since we uploaded them, so we've got your PDF available as well. Now, you can create more libraries here as well. Create library, you can give it a title, and you can select further domains as well. And then you can upload papers onto that library or add papers to that library as well. Now, once I've loaded the papers, let's say I want to chat with my papers. So I can select, let's say one of the papers and we can have multi -papers, multiple papers selected as well. Let's say I select one more. So we can chat with the selected ones. So let's first chat with the selected ones. I've got two papers here. And then you can chat with the paper now. What gaps were identified in the study and press enter. So this way you can chat with the paper and extract the relevant information. Now this way you are digging deep into the paper. Now once you have the results, then you can chat further as well. Now here are the results. Now subsequent research initiatives should focus on integrating potential moderators. Now these are the gaps identified in this research. Now moving on, let's go back. You already have the papers in the library. Okay, let's say research gaps. Okay, let's for now cancel it. Now moving on, you've got all these papers here. Now I've got different papers in the library. This is two. And let's say if you want to show all the papers or a maximum of hundred is allowed. Here are the results. Now this way you can use your library and extract the summaries and information. Now furthermore, you can upload further data as well. Now you can copy the citation as well. And what you can do is you can further edit these details as well. So this is how you can use answerthis.io to search for papers and extract information. Thank you very much.